Good morning, everybody. Happy hump day. I'm back on a night of lake this morning, finally, thankfully. Bill offered to take me out this morning, so I took him up on his offer while he's in the middle of his vacation. Finally got some decent weather in your vacation. It's been raining for three days. Yeah, I had enough rain. <laughs> so we uh, we snuck out of A&P this morning, which and I, I'm curious to see when we go back there. I've never been there before. And I saw it in the dark this morning. Boy, it's, it looks like a beautiful facility. So I'm, I'm curious to see what it's like when I go back there and see it in the daylight. But we snuck out to 1.30 this morning. We got a beautiful drift here. We're probably, oh, what's this wind? Five to seven, maybe, out of the west-southwest. Yeah. Um, we started out pretty good. We got I got two short walleyes right off the bat. And uh, you, had a, you had a perch. A couple of perch. Early. And then it kind of died for us. Um, a lot of floating debris out here today. It's hard to even get, I would say, half my casts came back in and I had to clean off that I didn't even get, I didn't even get it to the bottom. Uh, or if I got it to the bottom, we, there was a lot of floating weeds out here. Lots and lots of them. So if you're coming out, we see a bunch of trollers down between Dakin and, and um, Shackleton. Shackleton. I'm assuming they're spending most of their time cleaning weeds. I can't imagine trying to troll right this. I mean, if I can't get a jig down through these weeds, I don't know how they're going to do it trolling. But God bless them if they're if they're successful. I know the fish are biting trolling if you can get lures, clean lures to them. Right. So, and I know you're going to drop me off, but you said you're going to come back out and troll for a little while. Yeah, I'm going to come back out and give it a shot. Oh, good. Um, not a not a not a ton to talk about today. I we we got everything we did catch. Oh, Bill caught the. I probably, and you guys are going to laugh when I say this, the biggest sunfish of the season. Um, it was longer than most of these big ones I've been catching, but, I mean, you had your hand as big as it would go, and you could just get fingertips around it. I got a picture I'll put up. Um, man, that thing was a stud. He was that thick. He was a stud. That was a big, and, and it's funny. I'm jigging along, and all of a sudden I hear, oh, there's one, and, and that really fast strike. They hit way harder than a walleye and way faster. You can almost know immediately as soon as you get bit that it's... It's not a walleye. It's not a walleye, <laughs> you know, so... Um, but yeah, we did everything on blade baits. I won blade baits this morning. I was fishing Chester, as as is my norm. And Bill was fishing homie. With the... Uh, complete with... He made his wife take him to Hobby Lobby and he got the... He got the stick on jewels and everything. Uh, so he got his fish on homie. I got mine on Chester. That's a pretty good morning. Um, air temp this morning when we left the dock was in the mid 60s. Surface temp out here today is 75.3. I thought it would be a little bit cooler than that with this rain that we've got, but um, it didn't really drop it all that much. And we're supposed to have back into some heat here at the end of the weekend. So we'll see what it does, but it's that time of year. It should start cooling down, you know, little by little. I'm okay with that. I like the fall fishing. Love the fall fishing. Yeah. It's my favorite time. You know, between, I, you know, and I don't do, it's funny, I don't do much night casting from shore in the fall, but boy, there's a whole legion of guys that do, and, and that won't be long. Another month, month and a half, month, you know, yeah. usually the end of September, sometime, yeah. depending on the weather, yeah. we'll start. Yep. Um, the, full, the, the, the full moon after the 15th of the September. Yep. Yep. So that'll, that, I think that'll do it for our hump day report today. Um, I put up a video. I, I went live last night when I got the box, when I got home from work. The box with the new shirts came. I have everything up on the Shopify site. It is 100% up. We have women's. We have two styles of women, so make sure you buy your daughters, your wives, your girlfriends um, something cool to wear if they go fishing with you or if they don't. We've got sun shirts. We've got uh, this new design I wore today with the Oneida Lake on it. I thought that was pretty cool. So everything is updated, so please, if, you, if, if you're looking for a cool t-shirt, you want to support the channel, you like what we're doing here, Take a minute and go check out the Shopify store. There's copies of my book. There's stickers, all kinds of fun stuff. So um, thanks, everybody, for all that. Thanks, Bill, for letting me join you today. It's You're been a welcome. pleasure. You're welcome. You're and invited back anytime. You're wanted, willing to go. You guys you guys will notice Bill's boat. This is a beautiful... What year is this? 
2021. 2021. We just got it at the end of last August. It's the big, big metal Crestliner with the with the fixed welded um, windshield. Yeah, windshield. It's a nice boat to fish out of. I mean, it's big and deep. Didn't make, you know, not that there's much waves today, but you can see we're hardly moving. This is a really big, deep, stable platform. So um, it was a joy to fish out of. So thank you again. You're welcome. And uh, all right, everybody, we're gonna we're gonna sign off for now. We'll do it on three. We'll do keep your tip up on three. Right. One, two, keep, keep your, your tip, tip up. up. Thank you. <laughs>